Who's ready to go after holes two, three, and four? Grab an A harmonica. Let's do this. All right, this is not easy. The holes two, three, and four. By the way, before I jump into this, I want to mention the track that I'm using is from the is was created by the same individual who made the ultimate blues jam tracks. In fact, this track is part of a series called the Acoustic Edition for those ultimate blues jam tracks. There's eleven tracks in all, plus another. Mm, let me just tell you right now. Plus, you get an additional, oh, about another 12 or 15 tracks that are short tracks, that are educational, sort of instructional tracks that help you focus on various parts of the 12-bar blues so you can isolate unique beginnings and endings that come up. And um, I'm excited to release this. It'll come out on Harmonica 1, 2, 3 next week. I'll tell you all about it. And I'll probably be demoing a whole bunch more of these tracks. So holes two, three, and four, this is tricky. Um, I put up a video called holes one, two, and three, the one, two, three hole shuffle. Variations of working with either just hole three or holes one, two, and three. And this this is a, a great exercise because by limiting the movement on the harmonica, you start to get much more creative and find different phrasings and different unique riffs that you weren't playing. You find new note choices to use. And um, I thought I would move this up to holes two, three, and four, where I think the challenge on this one is potentially even greater because we lose the chord one, two, three, which is so nice to have that chord in the mix. We lose that. But um, of course we gain hole number four. That's a nice hole to work with. Um, it's got the root of the five, um, the root of the four chord. Of course, the root of the one on the two draw. You've got all your necessary ingredients here to make some nice riffs up. But it, it's challenging, I think, primarily because this is the area where most harmonic players tend to live. And therefore, they become more repetitive in that area. Um, so it's a great place to examine. and a great Maybe you just can use this video as a, as a resource for some examples that I laid out you know, at the beginning of this video and just try to find those you know um some some highlights for me were uh let's see combining holes two and three together to get a chord like sound a bigger sound than just the single note and three and four using a two blow on the four chord and um really taking advantage of everything going on in hole number three and trying to use I used all of the notes except for the step and a half bend. So there's a lot that you can pull out of holes two, three, and four. Um, I would add that it might be smart to work on holes three, four, and five, and four, five, and six the same way in cross harp, uh, and then move to another position and try this exercise. So I want to mention that this Saturday I've got a class coming up. It's 12-bar blues structure. That's the topic. 
I'll be talking about um, how to count the 12 bar blues, how to recognize variations of it, how to work with it and practice it so that it's not just the same old thing every time. So if you're interested in learning more about the 12 bar blues structure and ways to work with it, approach it, um, and just get a full understanding of what it's about, join me this Saturday. I'll put a link to that class in the video description. Uh, two Saturdays from that class, that class is on the 11th. And then on the 25th, I've got the Little Walter class, the song that I brought up earlier a couple weeks back, uh, Can't Hold Out Much Longer. I'm going to go through that song on the 25th. If you want to join both classes, I'll put a link where you can save five bucks by joining both classes and signing up for both at the same time. You don't have to be present for any of these classes. Of course, if you are present in the class, you can ask your own questions through the chat box. But it's all recorded, so either way you get uh, a link to watch the recorded class when it's over. And that's what I got today. I'm going to send you out with a little more jamming. And you know what? Why don't I just stick to the two, three, and four? Here we go. I cheated already. Hope to see you guys on Saturday and be on the lookout for my next YouTube clip where I'm going to get right into the F harmonica and talk about how unique that harmonica is and some ways to work on getting a better sound out of that. See you soon.